electricity is traded in different time frames and marketplaces through the whole interconnected Europe. The transmission system operators are responsible for how the power system is modeled in these markets. The TSOs ensure that the market respects the physics of the power system by defining limitations for the market model. In the market, the Nordic countries are modeled with bidding zones. To calculate the maximum flow or the net transfer capacity between the bidding zones for these lines, the TSOs forecast the grid situation in the whole synchronous area. Typically, the TSOs try to give the maximum NTCs that the operational security limits allow. However, sometimes the combination of all the maximums is not secure. The TSOs try to find the NTCs in a manner that would maximize the socioeconomic welfare in the prognosed state of the power system. The shift towards the green power system with an increasing share of variable, renewable power introduces a lot of challenges to predict the power generation. This makes it hard for the TSOs to forecast the state of the system and it leads to difficulties in giving the operationally secure capacities with an optimal or close to optimal socioeconomic welfare. This requires the TSOs to let the market find the optimal solution while ensuring the operational security in all situations. In order to manage the green shift in power production, the real limitations of the grid need to be modeled more accurately for the market. And this is when the flow-based calculation comes in. Flow-based joins physics of the power system to the market model and essentially bridges the gap between the manual and precise power system analysis and the current NTC model. The flow-based calculation process is quite simple. The result of the process is flow-based parameters which model how the critical network elements are loaded and ensure that the operational security is not compromised in different trading scenarios. First, the TSOs select which of the network elements they deem critical for the capacity calculation. For these network elements, the TSOs also define a maximum flow, which is calculated based on the operational security limits. Secondly, the coordinated capacity calculator, the Nordic RSC in Copenhagen, will use flow-based methodology and calculate how the flow on the critical network elements changes when the consumption or production of a bidding zone changes. This change in flow is assumed to be the same no matter how much the net positions change, i.e. linear change. Finally, the TSOs validate the flow-based parameters. The results of flow-based calculation are then given to the market operators who ensure that none of the defined critical network elements are overloaded as a result of the common European market optimization. In short, the market operator finds optimal set of net positions for all bidding zones that respect the flow-based capacity calculation results, i.e. the constraints defined by the linearized grid model.